All right, we're gonna show you here some shots from the uh, NSC structure scan uh, by Simrad. Uh, this is kind of a cool shot. This is when we were trying to net some herring here uh, at a lake, a uh, freshwater lake. And uh, what you can see here is the, th the actual cast net sinking here. It's a 10 foot net, opens to 20 foot. So that's 20 foot from there to there. Here's the throw rope right here where it landed. And if you look down here, you can see the herring, the school of herring. Uh, now the way this, this displays is we, we're looking at a lot of water here. This is the center line of the boat right here. You gotta look at this, it's almost like it's two, two different screens. This is the right side of the boat, this is the left side of the boat, and this is just a line that would be the, you know, the, the keel of the boat here. So we, when you pass directly over something, you'll see it on the left and the right. So you can see we, we pass directly over the, the school of herring. Uh, there's some on our left, some on our right, and up top, this is very important, this is the scale right here. So you can see from zero, we were going from zero all the way across to 50 foot, and 50 foot on the other side of the boat. So you can see 10 feet away where the net approximately landed, you know, the outside net, at edge of the net there is 10 foot from the boat sinking. Uh, and you can just see how we just barely missed that that school of herring. Right here, you know, we're, you know, if you look at the area we're covering, you know, it's, we got 100 foot across and about 300 foot uh, or about 250 foot, uh, you know, long. So we're covering a big, big area of water here. Now this is to be to split the screen here to look straight down. You can see again this school of herring was right here, and here is the net. And you can see how it's starting the parachute right here. So that was a pretty cool shot. Okay, this is another shot here where we have it split out into four windows here. This is just the uh, GPS with the uh, the supplied uh, data here. This is not a card right here. That's how it would come, what came with the unit for a lake here. You can see it's pretty detailed, especially for fresh water. Uh, down here we have the left and right structure scan split. Here we have straight down on the structure scan, the down view. And here we just have typical sonar here at 200 uh, kilohertz. So uh, you can see we were passing over a school of stripers. Uh, you can see some of them are moving up, some of them are starting to move as we passed over them, you know, they're feeding so they're not just, you know, perfect arches that are sitting still, these fish are moving. You can see again down here, even though we split it, we're still covering a lot of water. Here's a zero, here's out to 80 foot, so we have 160 foot across that we're looking. Uh, and of course it's, it's cut in half now, so if that's 160, you know, that's probably about 80 right there. So we're looking at a lot of water, and these stripers we were catching were only, you know, from 4 to 10 pounds, so they're pretty small. So you can see how we saw those stripers uh, right here off to our right and off to our left. And over here on the down, down view, we, we, they're right here underneath us too. And again, you can tell they're feeding, they're moving up here, they're moving up here, they're moving up. So they're not just arches that are sitting idle, they're actually feeding. And uh, although this is really designed, you know, for looking at structure and identifying uh, uh, you know, hard items under the water, it, it actually really helps us uh, find these fish, especially uh, in the summertime when we're when they're tied up schools and we get on top of them quick, catch them quick, and then they blow out of there. And we would normally just move and try to find another school. Now we can actually direct the boat left or right and find the schools. So you can see that's pretty cool. All right, here's another shot. This is in the river section of the Roanoke River as it pass, passes through Lake Gaston. Uh, we have 80 foot here to our left, 80 foot to our right, so we're covering 160 foot uh, wide and probably about uh, you know 300 or so long. So we're covering about a football field right there of water. Uh, this here is pretty interesting. I'm not sure what this was. You can see it, it has grates on it, and these here are rocks. You can see they're very defined, and you can see the actual shadows from each rock. And you can see really there was no fish anywhere in the area. Maybe a, you know some really small stuff here that. Uh, uh, probably something we weren't really interested in catching, but there was some small stuff around. But, but here we, we couldn't figure out what this was. Uh, it looks like it was a sunken dock, but you know wood normally does not sink. Uh, and this was an old riverbed, so it could have been a dock that was anchored there before they flooded the river. Uh, and you can go right up here to the scale on top and see, you know, right about how big it was between 40 and 60 foot. You know, that's to what 20 foot mark. So you can go down and estimate. Yeah, that's probably about 10, 10, 12 foot long right there. So that's pretty neat right there. 
All right, here's another shot here. We're trolling here now, so we're moving a little quicker here. You can see these, these cloud uh, area here looking. Is that just a prop wash there as we're trolling? And you can easily uh, turn turn up the clarity and remove that prop wash, but I really like to leave that in there so I can see any little detail. I'd rather uh, be able to see bait than have a perfectly crystal clear picture. Uh, you know, I want to see every little thing, every little herring. So that's what the prop wash is right there. Now we passed over, if you look over here on, this, on the down scan, we passed over a perfect uh, dead tree right here. And you can see, you know, if uh, in, in the old days, you'd see, you know, on your sonar, you'd just see a big clump of stuff on the bottom. Some people would think it was bait uh, or just some kind of bush or something. But actually, we can actually see that it's actually uh, a tree. And, um, uh, you can kind of see here we're guessing i mean there could be some fish holding in there because they're separated from the branches uh right next to it is a school of herring and i know they're herring because we net herring right in that area and that's pretty much all we net in that area uh so you can see the herring in the tree and again we pass directly over that tree so we have a little bit of it on our right and a little bit over on our left again there's some rocks here off you can see their shadows all right, here's another neat shot here. This is in salt water. This is in New York Harbor up here uh, in springtime. We're, uh, we're here, we're covering 100 foot of water off to our left, 100 off to our right. So it's a 200 foot uh, span of water right there. So we're looking at a, you know more than a football field right here. We're looking at 200 foot uh, you know, by probably 250, you know, close to 275 foot. So uh, if you look here, this is a sunken boat right here and we can look and we can actually you know determine how long it is or guesstimate how long it is by looking up here we can see between 60 and 80 foot that's a 20 foot span right there and that boat is a little bit longer than that so we're guessing it's about 25 you know 24 to 25 foot long right there that boat that was pretty neat here's another quick cool one this is a giant school of bunker or menhaden uh, up again new york harbor and uh, they're passing under the boat and I just dropped a snag hook straight down and you can see how the snag hook went straight down and just scared those fish off as they separated out. This past year uh, in Chesapeake Bay it was very tough fishing. Uh, the water got uh, went from too warm to too cold uh, in a very very quick span so uh, fishing was very tough. Uh, this doesn't look like it's showing much but this was really showing us a whole lot. Uh, what you can see here is individual schools very small schools of stripers you can almost count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh... looks like some bigger fish here and some smaller fish behind it and this school was you know twenty five or so foot to our left and uh... this here uh... you can see another little small school right here about seven or eight stripers and some bait off here this here is one of us fighting a fish bringing it up closer to the boat and over here on the down scan you can see us fighting that fish away from the school and the school is actually trying to stay with that fish we were able to see it live as it was happening as the school was actually staying with the fish that we hooked and you can actually see it following that fish for, and trying to stay with it uh, you know obviously didn't know what was going on they, the, the act of them trying to stay together uh, and there's another school small school of bait and fishing was very tough if you if we weren't able to find these fish I mean on a down scan or the down sonar you may mark three or four fish here and there if they're lucky enough to swim right under the cone of the sonar but you know you could fish in an area like that for an hour and not mark anything but with this huge area now that we can see we can mark these fish that are just 20 or 30 foot off to our left that we may you know not so seen in the past and you can see here these rough these rough squiggly lines right here are just a boat rocking back and forth it was a little rough out that day and we were rocking back and forth so you can see you know the movement of the boat right there alright this is the same day uh, this is a little clearer shot because it was a little calmer here uh, now this is the side scan here now we're looking way off here we have 250 feet off to our right 250 to our left it's 500 foot right there and about 750 right right there so we have 500 by 750 feet of water that we're covering you can see this beautiful school of stripers right here uh, very detailed as their shadows are actually shown right there on land uh, you know where we're on land but when you're seeing the ground uh, you know we can be able to count about 20 fish in that school and they're very packed close tight together which tells me they're not feeding uh, they're looking to feed but you know once they are feeding you'll see the schools are all scattered out this was fantastic information for the trip we were on 
Yeah, I swear we would have we would have left uh, if we didn't see these fish, and it was very tough fishing. And it was a day that we were catching you know some good fish, and a lot of guys were struggling. A lot of really good fishermen that I know uh, were struggling. I really believe that this was the difference right here that we were able to see and and, and find these fish. And they look, may look small to you on here, but compared to 750 foot by 500 foot, you know these were you know 20 to 30, 40 pound fish right here. Okay, here's some more with the. Uh, Using the side view here, you can see the uh, stripers were just marked, and you can see them all over this fish finder here. That's the individual stripers right there. There's the bait right there, and there's the individual fish. You can see them right there going by. There's the bait underneath it. A bit here, you can see right there is the fish and the and the bait. That is incredible. You should see those individual fish. They are off to our left, they are off to our right. They're in tight balls, about 15 to 20 fish. I can rewind this one a touch and show you. Look at that. They're everywhere here, man. Look at it up here, look at it up here on the sonar, you see what those fish look like on the smaller screen. There's the bait and there's the fish right there. Look at all those marks off to our right. Got to cut the wheel to the right here. I don't know if I'm fighting you, if you're steering right or I'm steering right. That's 40 foot off to our right. Those marks. Those are some good sized fish that mark that big. You can see their shadows too. That is fantastic. And what we're doing is we're using the sea us here. See us? The fish are off to our right. Look here, Greg. You see that? There's those stripers off to our right. This is the right of the side scan. I marked the fish here with the sonar, but I can see that they're off to the right. And I'll turn the boat right and we'll get right over those fish again. This technology's unreal. I would never have known it. You can see here on the left, left and right, you can see it's on our left, it's on our right, you can see it all in here. We're gonna stomp on the boat and you can see this bait react. Watch this. Check that out. You can see all the bait move right down.